when you look at a little one and think, there's so much that they get to learn and discover and experience for God, so much more than we or the parents have ever done. They get to walk in that. And to me, that's exciting. That's really cool. So I'm going to read a charge this morning to Travis and Emily and to Pastor Justin and to Brittany. And I just need you guys to say, we do, at the end. It says, you are bringing your children before God and these witnesses to dedicate them to God. By this statement of faith, you commit that together, not just mom or dad, but together, you will raise your child in a way that pleases God by instructing them in God's word, by introducing them to Christ's love and their need for salvation. Awesome. And to the church, I pronounce your prayer. Do you as a church family commit to surround them in love, grace, and truth of the body of Christ? Will you stand with them in prayer, speak the truth in love into their lives, serve them in humility, and encourage them in the word of God? And do you receive these children as a blessing from the Lord to be instructed, protected, and blessed in the fellowship of believers? We yeah. sure do. I'm going to get the dads to come up and pray over their little ones, and then after that, I'm going to get the pastors to come up and we want to pray over them. So Travis, we'll let you...
us kindness and goodness be fruit in our life. That our good deeds and kind words will build the church and draw men and women to the Lord. We ask that Laura will be faithful as you are faithful to her. And when she begins something, she will complete it. When the times are difficult, she will be steadfast to accomplish what you have called her. I pray in humility and grace that Laura's heart may always be soft before you. That though she will have great strength, that is apparent to those around her, her spirit will be gentle in her approach. In all of these things, Lord, we understand that it is only through your Holy Spirit with us that any of us can walk so and I set apart. So we pray for a filling of your spirit. And we finally pray for Lord's self-control. Self-control does not come by putting our faith in ourself, but by putting our faith in Jesus Christ, who is the only perfect man. May the Lord put on the spirit of Christ like a coat daily, that she will walk in the self-control that God can only give her. And God, as you are true, Laura's true father, I thank you for entrusting her to my care. May I not take this mandate for granted. As her father, may I show her the love of God as only a man can by fully submitting myself to you.
You will find some of our servant leaders who will offer you a refreshment. They would love to meet you. Again, thank you for coming today. We hope you have a great time in church today with all of us. Join us each Wednesday at 7 p.m. right here in our main sanctuary. Our time together will include worship, prayer, and a time sent